Seven. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Oh, what have you done? Oh, uh, 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 balls, uh, balls, uh, taking cock, <laughs> taking cock. Bad. See, we just panic. We we can't we can't handle pressure of being on the. It's on the stage. radio. Could how be how bigger how bigger are the files like when you start recording mumble like how? I mean, it's I, pretty much a standard wave file. So oh really? I think yeah. you could change it though. I don't. I don't think it has to be. Wave. Because man, if I could, if I could fucking do it like, leave it on for like five or six hours, and it only take up like a hundred megabytes, I'd fucking do that actually. Yeah, have to be decent quality though. I don't want to fucking start uploading like shitty quality bullshit. Yeah, but when you get into uh, having like terabyte hard drives, it's not even an issue. Yeah, I, I have a one terabyte hard drive, and that's it. But I have a lot of Steam games. I so. only have 150 gigabytes, oh, nice. and I blame Taiwan for all that sense. <laughs> oh yeah, the flooding in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. They they brought it upon themselves, mind oh, you. Heretics ruining my hard drives. <laughs> yeah, Think I was about looking the first on... world countries for a change. <laughs> I was looking online like right before it happened, and two terabyte hard drives were eighty dollars, and now they're yeah. Yeah. Like two hundred now, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's it's about a hundred dollars per terabyte, and, uh, and it's going to take a couple of years for the market to get yeah, back it, to where it was. Yeah, it's supposed to start going down the end of this year. Start going down, and they don't expect it to recover until late next year. So, hmm. but by then, hopefully, solid state, solid state, is supposed to drop by the uh, summer of this year, summer of spring. Uh, OS OCX, I believe the company is. Uh, they're supposed to release uh, more consumer grade uh, solid state drives, and there is supposed to only be about. If I read it right. I think it was forty to sixty cents a gig, which is extremely cheap and really, Damn. really good. It's supposed to be super competitive. So, I want to get that actually. Yeah, there's supposed to. I mean, maybe, maybe not now that the whole Taiwan, uh, they might mark up prices again or keep prices high just because people are relying on them as a sole hard drive provider, sort of thing. But yeah, eventually, eventually storage will come down. Eventually, yeah. At some point in time. Yeah. I mean, if RAM could come down into just dirt cheap prices. Hard drive storage. Yeah, I'm still kind of mad that RAM got so expensive and now it's nothing. <laughs> Man, I bought uh, four gigs of DDR3 RAM two, three years ago for $92. And <laughs> now you could find it eight gigs for just 30 or $25. Oh, that's nothing. I got um, eight gigs of laptop memory for about $300. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so great to see that after you buy, and then you just read. I just, I just bought eight gigs of, for my computer for like sixty bucks, and yeah. then I then it dropped two like thirty dollars. Like two after of you my bought memory it. slots, though, fucking died. Like they don't work, and I guess I should have tested it out before I bought it. But like, I guess my computer. So I only have eight gigs of RAM in my computer, and I should have sixteen. I have, I fuck, I'm looking at them right now. They're fucking taunting me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my shitty motherboard. Yeah. Now, do you use uh, do you use that RAM for more than just eight gigs? Like, do you use it for video editing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do some video editing. And okay, uploading. I, I sometimes I get bottlenecks sometimes when I start like doing too much shit with the video editing. Yeah, because I could totally see uh for video editing but like anything beyond gaming is just like yeah most games only take four gigs like even the hardcore games they'll only take four gigs it's just like the stock uh what game companies work with they work with usually two gigs for consoles or maximum of 528 and then computers they try and keep in the two gig zone and four gigs if you're lucky but that's only for like super hardcore resource intensive games so Really, you only need about four gigs total. Yeah, exactly. And anything else? Yeah, I mean, like uh, Photoshop, video editing, music editing. Anything that uses physics or is really uh, math-based. 
like really, really algorithm based like sort of processes those things i mean bitcoin if you want to mine bitcoins and all that stuff bitcoins what are those money the whole uh, evil currency it's, it's uh, a shitty currency it's it's fucking... a very unstable currency that people wanted <laughs> to have because it's encrypted so you can't trace it but the downside is that it's very volatile it's uh, gone up and down in the past <laughs> year Rami Bro. wanted to invest invest like a thousand dollars into my it, gosh. and then okay. it dropped to like Basically, one cent. Of think Bitcoin of it this way: something. Bitcoin is used by drugs, child porn, and illegal materials online, legally online, illegally. And one one U.S. dollar is equivalent to uh, right now. I think it's about five dollars in bitcoins. Uh, mm. So bitcoins is very pricey, but the price is inflated and deflated so dramatically very quickly. It's like crashed and rose, crashed and rose. Because one little shakeup in the infrastructure, like one hacked password for a Bitcoin account can cause a huge transaction flood. And basically it went up to, I think, about $40 per US dollar in Bitcoins. Damn. In about a week, and then it crashed in like one minute to zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from it's a it, massive it was like sell-off. Point there zero was, zero one there was a thirty thousand dollar Bitcoin sell-off, and it crashed the market in one minute, basically. <laughs> and it's, I would never invest in that. I mean, it's a secure money, but one little slip-up can cause the whole market to. Um, super unstable yeah. it's a really interesting thing because you cannot uh the thing about it is it's a, it's like a military grade encrypted currency where you can't make more currency there's a specific allotted amount of currency and after the amount is generated you use basically like graphics cards or computer processes to generate bitcoins through coding and after they're all generated no more bitcoins will ever be made so eventually, the bitcoins won't exist in the future as a currency because they'll stop making bitcoins. So it will eventually collapse in on itself, but not for like another 15 to 20 years. And by then, they hope to make some new currency or extension. But anyways, it's a bad currency. Huh. But it's good if you want to buy drugs online or child yeah. porn. I could so, use some more drugs and child yeah. porn. Yeah. Add it to my stash. We all could. <laughs> now, uh, USA, you mentioned uh, earlier that you have a massive Steam library. I'm actually kind of interested about that. Oh, do you want to compare dick sizes? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I think uh, I, I have, have a bigger, very, um, big I, dick. I think I have the biggest. I have quite a big Steam library because I have... Except it doesn't tell you which are like add-on games or anything. yeah, that, that that's Shit annoying. Like that. it, it's I I don't have disposable income, but I treat my income like I do have disposable income. Yeah, so I have a lot of game. <laughs> I have two hundred and twenty-three. A stronghold three. I've had this since the day it came out. I played it for like four hours. It's not even listed on Steam because it had a glitch where it <laughs> where it didn't even display. Like it, it, it would launch and then it would launch like from a different area, and so it would kick it off Steam. So it, it looks like I've put into zero hours in the Stronghold Three. That's a, a brand new. It's like thirty five bucks when I got it. Serious Sam Three only played it for twenty one minutes. Uh, God, I'm a piece of shit when it comes to games. Brink. Yeah, I have, I have 20, 223 games. Hey, I guys, want to play played... Brink? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I only pre-ordered it. Come on. I, I want to say on all the games that I played, I played more than half of the games I own, actually. Like, I've actually put in time to play more than half of all my games. Yeah, I don't know. I've bought in like a lot of indie packs and stuff where I just never. I at least I, downloaded I, I, them and played them once. I want to see here. Here, I'm going down the list because I let's see. 
I've put in I like wish, a couple uh, hours into Reckless I wish Steam didn't re uh reset all of its uh you know, like in two thousand six or seven, they reset all their game hours yeah. things. I wish they didn't do that because I had like yeah. I had like four hundred hours on Counter Strike. <laughs> I was yeah. proud of that. I don't know why. I was just proud of that. And then I had I had I had so many in Half Life Two. I played Half Life Two so much. I fucking reason. I bought Bastion like a few weeks ago. I haven't even installed it yet. Oh, that's a really good game. No, oh, I know it's a good game. <laughs> this is my problem, though. Like, I I buy games that I know are great, and I never even fucking play them. Like, Battle Stations Midway. What the fuck? I've never even heard of this game, and I have it. I haven't logged any hours into it. Oh yeah. That that's the same problem with me when it comes to Steam is I have just all these great games but no time to play them or if I have time I shouldn't dedicate time to it. But yeah, my my library is about 260. I need to how do I check my library size? There's that one website, right? Yeah, it it's are you logged into Steam right now or Oh, 24/7. Oh, uh, just go to your library and then click on all games and it'll show. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. All games. I have 214, but some of these are probably like not. I would say I have probably 205. That's probably more accurate. Hmm. So relatively speaking, we all have really big penises. Yeah, I have yeah, the biggest. All... How many do you have? Wait, how I, many do you have? Like 205. Uh, 260. Oh. 260 holy shit <laughs> they just buy everything that's on sale yeah but, pretty much there's we'll this one see, guy okay on, okay uh, well see we're not bad because we don't necessarily buy things like that are expensive we just buy a lot of things that are on that's sale. Not sale yeah like my my the majority of my games i've ever bought were during the christmas and thanksgiving or christmas and uh summer sales that's even it. even a lot of my new games that i got i got for like pre-order deals yeah. on direct to drive or green men gaming so i mean you like, guys got me arkham city and that was yeah. like 15 bucks or something like that 25 yeah it's like 25 and we pitched in i've i've only paid for like maybe five or six games at full price i think on my account <laughs> i've logged almost 500 hours into mountain blade warband well idle time <laughs> yeah, all doing homework, just running into death so I can get free experience. I need to get back into that, actually. I, I love that game. But there's this one... Do you... A new guy that we do not know. Do you go on the face punch forums? I do not. No, they, they're a piece of shit. Don't even go there. But there's this one guy, and he's like the king of the gaming area. And he has literally every game. He has bought every game, every DLC. He must be just filthy, stinking rich. And he pre-orders like every MMO. When he buys an MMO, he puts like a year subscription on it. Wait, and... wait. What about the guy that won the every game from Steam? Oh yeah, Christmas? I guess I guess that that guy's actually he's a 4chan guy. Yeah, oh, really. Two guys yeah. have every game on Steam. Yeah. It's really funny. The guy who won recently, he's like a troll. <laughs> like yeah. it was a troll account. It's like that's all the best fortune. thing. Yeah, that, that's so good. I like that we rigged that thing and we still didn't get our accounts banned or anything like that. Yeah, like you that know, it, it makes me realize that maybe we should have done like a hundred accounts. I know. I should have gone hardcore and then just mode on that. Sold the the stones or the coal because people were buying that shit near the end for like a dollar for like five. I bet you. That their loss. Okay, here's the the their marketing department. I almost can guarantee you was basically saying, you know, we have this flaw in the system where they can't <laughs> do this. But they're they were probably saying that their losses were like so neg negligible, yeah, that it just doesn't matter, and that they and don't want it. They don't want to get rid of accounts uh, that could be possible sales by buying games yeah also. well exactly you know what like there's probably some people that made alternate accounts and then they saw like one one of the sale games was like a dollar and they yeah. bought it on their alternate accounts as well so i mean yeah. hey sales are sales and they only had a finite amount of coupons also so yeah. plus i'm already banned from like every steam game what the fuck else are they gonna do to me close my account 
Actually, that would suck if they closed my account. <laughs> but, I, you know, after that, I came to terms with, well, if my account gets closed, I'm okay. I played my yeah. games. I oh, can play man. I, I, I was like going through my banned games list. That's, that's a brilliant. <laughs> my only regret is getting banned from Team Fortress 2 because they fucking deleted all my items. And I could have sold that shit. Plus, I had a full racist pyro set. Every item I had was renamed to be something incredibly racist. I would get kicked from servers from that. It was great. I wouldn't have to say anything, and they'd kick me from servers for being a racist. <laughs> well, what kind of um, items did you get? Let's see. I had the uh, the nigger knockout, which was the hammer. I had the Jew burner, which was the uh, it was the flare gun. I had the uh, gentleman's white power mustache. The I think it was like the the anti Negro establishment head dress or something. Oh, they would auto boot you for all those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I had something else as well. There's the so uh, some like nigger burner or something. It's, <laughs> it's just horrible. <laughs> it's, yeah, just add a horrible. derogatory slang and then the yeah. weapon. You got a racist thing. How many ga games have you been? I'm sorry. How many games have you been banned from? Oh, like every Steam game. <laughs> wow. Hey. Oh, wow. I was looking at someone's account here. He trade status banned. That's cool. Oh, wow. How do you get banned from trading? Oh no. One. Remember when it was new? When they were uh, TF2? Maybe they scammed a bunch of people. Oh, I see. During when it was new. Because my VAC status is like bands on record here. I'm gonna check how many bands I have on record. It's a lot. I make <laughs> I make troll videos because I'm a 21 year old philosophy student who hates the world. Oh so, nice. Yeah. Man, uh, I'm I'm feeling desperate for money now. I'm feeling like I should get up on the Google thing again. The I really thing? need to start yeah. making some uh, money. You know, they sent me a check for like 120 bucks. I was very happy about I'm that. I'm telling I'm like, you, I might you start and Raw again. should have stuck with it. I could have made you guys at least like 200 bucks a month. <laughs> yeah, I might get back into it. See, we were the only ones doing it the right way, yeah. in all honesty, because I had the fully automated setup. And, man, if you just put in your time... And I have a dedicated computer now that I can do yeah. this with. So I could run that thing. I do want to get... Uh, I want to. I need to get some RAM for the computer, though. I need a, parts of it. But I need to keep... Okay. I want to make a really just light build computer that'll just be our yeah. spam bot That'd be computer. awesome. Okay, let's, let's see. Counter-Strike Source, Day of Defeat Source... Portal. <laughs> I Portal. Hey, well, no, that's just what happens because when you get banned from one source game, they ban you oh, on yeah. the same source engine. So TF2, TF2 Summer 2011 DLC, TF2 Premium DLC, Space War. What the fuck, is Space War? Oh, it's a source mod. Uh, a bunch of source mods. And Call of Duty source. Black Ops multiplayer. Yeah. Uh, uh, Battlefield Bad Company. All three of us got banned from Bad that Company. Was that <laughs> no, was that messed up. No, that wasn't messed up. No, oh, it was messed up because I didn't have my hacks any. We didn't have our hacks anymore. Or I no, didn't. no. But they caught what they do. It's not like they I know, catch you I know. soon. But it's like, just yeah. it sucked because I got banned when I didn't have hacks for like three weeks. <laughs> it's just. Oh, uh, that was great though. When we were all running but we around got with hacks. everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We couldn't. We uh, didn't get banned so from good. any server ever. Get kicked from any server. That was the great thing. Then they finally caught you. Yeah, I fought the law and the law won. And I was the only one of us to get banned from, <laughs> from ABB. <ABV. laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh my! And you weren't even using the significant hacks. That's the no, thing. I. Um, it's because they're free. Yeah, we were using the premium shit, bro. The primo. <laughs> and, and it could have been also that my I was covered in penises. Hey, they, yeah, they could have been that as well. I was the abortion. My alter ego <laughs> in game is a superhero who doesn't give a fuck about anything, and he drives around in a van that's called the Abortion Two. And it, <laughs> yeah, the, nobody he's knows called the fallacy. The one. He's called the fallacy, and he drives the abortion. Yeah, 
Now you said it was the abortion two. The uh, just the abortion two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Abortion one got old and boring. So I, 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 I don't think the abortion one ever existed, did it? Was yeah, it, just, it, it was the oh, brown okay. card. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was, that was fun. But the van was awesome. That was our getaway van. And just, <laughs> the abortion me. mobile. Yeah. Uh, you guys must be the uh, best superheroes ever. I was the only superhero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? My Here, let me find pictures of Latiqua. <laughs> Officer Latiqua doesn't give a shit. Latiqua? Now, I'm assuming she's it's a female black beautiful. cop? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a female black cop. Here, I'm going to upload some pictures to Imager. How did I, I think I saw some pictures. Imager's great. Oh, yeah. That's the greatest. Can just upload photos anonymously and not care about who, uh, whoever clicks on them. Yeah, it's great if you know. want to uh, become internet famous, but not really. Yeah, if you like to just watch in the background. Yeah, um, that's the great thing about being anonymous or anonymous in this day and age is you can be kind of internet famous and not have the, the drawbacks of fame. Well, I am an internet superstar, so I don't know what it's like to not be famous. Oh, really? He's <laughs> no. the I'm, biggest I'm a, internet star ever. I, I'm a League of Legends opinion. superstar, apparently. Oh, there was a guy above us in another channel, by the way, who had your video linked in his comments. Really? Yeah, really? I was going to tell you the other day. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. I want to oh, I'm so find famous. him again. I'm so famous. You guys it was like know. the top link. I'm at least a D-list celebrity in League of Legends. <laughs> no, you're like F. f list, yeah. You're like right next to the congressman that plays <laughs> LOL. It's it's great though because like every fucking time, every time I join a game, it's oh my god, it's McLaren. I love you in that Anivia video. You gonna build all mana crystals? <laughs> I made that video like two and a half years ago. It's oh great. So you guys are League of Legends players? No, no, no he, he's not. I am. And Ramit, no. Ramit is our other guy that comes in here. He's like part time, and he uh. He pretends he plays League of Legends, but he really doesn't. <laughs> He's really bad at it. Now, um, do you guys play any uh, Dota at all? Or Ramit's getting into it. I <laughs> He was trying to get me into it, but I demanded mid, and then he wouldn't let me take <laughs> mid, so I quit. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, was... that, that's my, league, or my Dota experience. What, what, was, uh, what were you playing as? Uh, Blood berserker guy oh, I, I seeker, yeah 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 i was playing as him uh, he's a pretty good uh hero but i don't know i think he's more of the sidelines kind of hero so. <laughs> yeah no he probably was i was reading what he did <laughs> i was just dicking <laughs> around but i i i can't get into another moba right now it's just so much information to take in and to start learning new shit new builds what this guy does oh. what this guy doesn't do oh oh bill did i did i show you the 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 game that's like Warhammer, but not miniature game. It's a war uh, game. It's, I think it's you really did cool. actually. Yeah. Can I show you the war machines? I th- yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. think I used to have like war machine or something, or or is that well, like is, a, this is a new no? Thing? The, these are relatively these are new. new oh, okay. There I was used to a have toy called thing. War Machines. I, I I had some mech thing that was like Warhammer, and you had to paint it and all that. But yeah. Oh yeah, was yeah. It I mech remember. No, it, it was like mech machine or so i know it was a mech warrior man, but when yeah, i get I an the, income man when i get a cool. sizable income i want to buy an army of these i really do i you know i love the idea of warhammer and all that stuff i can just ah, oh, it's so much money i, <laughs> I well no they, like i told ashley i was like these aren't for broke ass kids these are for adults yeah. that have a hobby that want to have a hobby that yeah. have a full career that make 50 to sixty thousand dollars a year these are not for kids that are broke and can barely buy games online. That like any of these things. Magic the Gathering especially, yeah. Oh, I play Magic online. Well, I used to. I, I don't play it much anymore. If I do, I only play Classic because Extended has changed so much that I can't even play my old shitty decks anymore. I love Magic online, though. Mm-hmm. I don't play it in real life anymore, though, because the people are fucking jerks. 
<laughs> I li- I live in like not a very populated area. Oh, bumfuck uh, nowhere. Yeah, well, I live in bumfuck nowhere, but I can go to like a populated area to play magic. But like all the people there are just the fucking worst. I can't stand that. Now you're supposed to do this on this phase, and it's like See, I know what I'm doing things, already. And things like this, I would never want to play with other people, only with friends that would yeah, want to learn exactly. to play it, and it could be casual. Yeah, that's that's really how it is with any kind of uh, card game or yeah any war game. I, when I was younger, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh professionally. Well, not professionally. I used to enter the local tournaments and I'd win all the fucking tournaments. It was great. Oh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh was the shit back then. Oh yeah, man. We we actually had Yu-Gi-Oh cards like a year before the show came out, and so I was like, I was all over this shit, and then the show came out. And I was like, wow, this kind of ruins like Yu-Gi-Oh for me because <laughs> the show was awful. Yeah, it, I, I couldn't... it was like a pre-scripted um, tournament. Yeah, like, I don't know, this is the show. It was just, I don't know, there's nothing going on for the show. Yeah, it's, it's terrible too because like, you know they're going to win. Yeah, exactly, from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, they've got to be the very best that no one ever was. <laughs> And then they start getting into like the magic shit and stuff. It's like, dude, I don't care. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. I just and so then people started making fun of me at school for fucking playing Yu Gi Oh after the TV show came on. So that just ruined it for me. I don't yeah. want to get made fun of. So fuck that. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh sucks. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still cool, guys. Don't make fun of me. I'm still cool. Just move on to the next grade. Uh... Yeah. Bale, did you ever know about micro machines? Yeah, micro machines sort are of shit, dude. Oh wow! I just that, was looking at mine. That brings back really old childhood memories of yeah. toys I never owned. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky to get some. I have yeah. a whole collection of them still that I play with sometimes. Yeah, I do have fond memories of all the '90s commercials involving micro machines and various '90s toys. Anyone here have moon shoes? I always wanted moon shoes, but I never got them. All oh, the nope. moon boots. The moon boots, yeah. Do you guys My sisters remember, had uh, those. Oh, wow. Were they, did they actually work, or were they just full of shit? They lose their spring yeah, after, like, quickly. Two, <laughs> two jumps or whatever. So. <laughs> I'm glad my parents never got me one, but it was like, at the time, I was like, man, I keep asking this every year for Christmas, I never get it. <laughs> I wasn't, just, like, a piece of shit kid, though. I was like, why don't you get me moon shoes? But I was just always like, man, I really want one of those. Yeah, that, that that's how I feel sometimes. That a lot of kids are just like they really wanted it, not that they had a sense of entitlement. These days, though, it's just they want everything. Oh yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> you see that compilation post where some guy like found all the worst Twitter posts during Christmas and then like put it in one image, and it's like <laughs> like fucking parents. I wanted a car, not an iPad. <laughs> like, uh, these people, oh, man. If they should get nothing. Yeah, like I was, I was really grateful for uh, like all the things that my parents have gotten me. Like, I, I I'm incredibly grateful that I even got a car. You know, <laughs> and all these people are like, "What? I got a Porsche and I, a I'm still grateful when my parents bring home like food. <laughs> I'm still, yeah. Oh, thank God, food. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I get or, to live one more day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Or, or the fact that you have parents, period. You should be happy for that. Yep. Okay. But yeah, what, what can we say? Uh, sense of entitlement this generation Hey, it's has. like that one video of the guy that shoots his girl's laptop, his daughter's laptop. Oh, yeah. What, I actually like that. I thought yeah, that I was like a that really well. good video. And there are some people saying, that's not right. That just makes her, she's going to get made fun of. It's good. She needs to get made fun of for being a prick. Self-righteous little prick doesn't appreciate the things her parents do for her. Like <laughs> now, um, do you guys happen to remember that um, toy squirt gun that you would speak into this microphone and it would shoot water at people? I do not remember that. Yeah, it was like this random commercial I remember from my '90s uh, days or whatever. <laughs> And basically, this guy would just shout into this microphone that was attached to his head. He would shout, fire, 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 fire. Oh, yes, I knew. 
<laughs> that sounds like the worst invention ever. It's, well, it was a, it was on a headset, and the, the squirt gun oh. was attached to the headset also. That sounds there was like, like the a, worst invention ever. <laughs> it wasn't very good. Yeah, I remember. It was by the same guys that made the uh, the Home Alone Two walkie uh, talkie oh, yeah. recorder thing. Voice this recorder has thing. Talk 90s back, written. Recorder. Yeah, oh, the, the talk, talk back. back. The talk back. This has nineties written all over it. The fucking headset yeah. with the. Water yeah. What's oh, uh? Man. What's your Steam name, new guy? Oh, yeah. It's a uh, D C S U L L I. Oh, I should probably change that then. Um, hey, hold on. It's 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 a picture of Doctor Robotnik, like it, my avatar right here. So D C. What was the other stuff? S U L L I Sully. Oh yeah, I see it, David. <laughs> to the club, David. Oh, you're David too. Are you David as well? No, I just <laughs> his, represent his alter ego. <laughs> I just he has represent two personalities. A man, a great man. Uh, you have a lot to learn from. Our, <laughs> we have backstories to characters that don't exist here, and other. It's great. I like to make up personas, and I like disguises. <laughs> I'm like Roger from American Dad. I really like that. I like to have different personalities or different. Hey, I just like stories. I like lying. Yeah, I you very could... much so like lying. You could write a book. I actually, I've, <laughs> we were, I've been we trying thinking... to for many, many years. Yeah, he has actually... an amazing backstory for this David Trebeco character, <laughs> and it changes every time, but it's still just as good. Oh wow! It, no, no, the, there is canon. It just there gets added canon. on. There's yeah, more tax <laughs> on all the time. Keeps getting added on more and more. <laughs> And I have it all written down too. Who's Latiqua? Is Latiqua David Trebeco's? That's his ex-wife. His ex-wife. One of his okay. ex-wives. And one then... of his many ex-wives, but one that didn't die. <laughs> seriously, the one that got away. <laughs> the one that got away. David Trebeco's wives keep dying, and he's a detective, and he wants to figure out why he's all these suspicious to find deaths out. happen yeah. while he's near them. He's and trying to find them. out who's killing his wives while the police are chasing him on an international manhunt. <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's him, it, though. It's him. <laughs> well, it might not be. It's it never might been not proven. Be, it's never it's been him. proven that it's him. <laughs> it's, it's him. Now, there, there should be um, an explanation for this in your podcast. Yeah, oh, we'll see. I was Trebeco gonna make. I, I was gonna make a series of stories with the soundboard. That were going to oh, wow. be just a bunch of Nor uh, detective stories of David Trebeco, but that didn't come to yeah. happen because that would have been so I was good, getting man. so. It was going to have to have like 300 buttons, and <laughs> I was just getting so overwhelmed. <laughs> Here's a picture, not of Latiqua, but one of my earlier. I can't find a picture of Latiqua. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's very sexy. <laughs> I like you the. Mean um, I would never date a man. I like the pink underwear band that he has. Yeah, I, I really I want to find a picture of Latiqua though because that's where the fun is. Oh, nice. So, what kind of um, voice does this Trebeco character have? A, a typical grizzled uh, detective voice. Like that's uh, not New Yorker. Similar to film noir, axe cop, that kind of thing. It, it's very, it's it's very grizzled and very like Batman. It's Batman. Oh, it's <laughs> Batman. <laughs> he's just Batman. It's ba- he's he Batman. He's it's Batman. He's the fallacy. He's the fallacy with a deeper voice. Like that's <laughs> when he has a deeper voice. He's also a superhero, by the way. He is the fallacy, but that's not canon. That's in a different universe. <laughs> what kind of powers does he have in his non-canon? He doesn't have any powers. He has the same powers of Batman, except he has less money. <laughs> a lot less money. Low budget Batman. Yeah. And so, instead of a cool mask and outfit, he has a dick and balls on his face. Does he carry and a baseball bat? No. He uses his fists. Technically, he could be the other Batman. <laughs> with just He's... the low budget Batman, the one with the baseball bat. It's the fallacy. You, you think you saw him, but you never did see him. Just that. He's that mythical thing you always hear about. Ah, uh, so he's just an outline of a thing. Yeah. 
he doesn't really exist because he's not canon. The fallacy isn't canon. David Trebekko is. Ah. Uh. So I have my frap set. So like when I press a certain button, it just keeps taking pictures. And I haven't really looked in the folder, and apparently I guess I've left this on various times. I have, like, photos from watching the uh, the Nick Diaz versus... Actually, I need to see... If... This is old shit, man. Picture a day. It's kind of like that. It's It's pretty cool. See how often you change around your icons on your desktop? Wow. Yeah, KJ Nunes versus Jorge Mastival. <laughs> Man, that was a long time ago. I have it all here. Hey, it's Alistair Overeem. <laughs> oh, hey, this is from the Alistair Overeem versus Verdum. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Oh, man, I have pictures from everything. Oh, there's some pictures of porn I was jerking off to. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that should be your desktop. Just take <laughs> pictures of that. Uh, I must have realized it was on because <laughs> all of a sudden there's only like three pictures. There's some pictures of me playing Magic. Oh yeah, that's so exciting. That's Tons exciting. of pictures of me playing League of Legends. God, how big is this picture folder? Actually, this is good, though. I think I have some pictures of Latiqua. Oh, I don't. What the fuck? Latiqua is another one of those elusive characters. Yeah. Well, oh, man. I have so run. many, so many Skyrim to kill pictures. Her. League of Legends, Deus Ex, Bulletstorm. Oh, here's a... Oh, this is an old Latiqua picture. Oh, wait, no, this is this wasn't Latiqua. This one is uh, my... Oh, what's, what's her name? Officer Bubba, but Officer Bubba went to the dark side and he became a... Uh, became a bad guy. shit ton of pictures of Brink. Well, hi. You only played that for like a day. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I guess I was taking pictures all the time. Oh my god. I need to delete. <laughs> oh my god. There's so many images. World of Tanks. What's the um, total uh, size? Yeah, actually. This might be like the biggest image folder in the history of image folders. Hold on. Let me see. It's uh, three terabytes. Okay, yeah, it's not even close. It's only 371 megabytes. Oh, damn. That's a, a lot of pictures, though. I'm surprised it's only that. Yeah. Well, Pixar didn't happen. I was about to say, how did you get three terabytes into a one terabyte drive? Magic. Just yeah. like the rest of science. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you multiplied by base 100. It's it's all magic. Yeah. Math magic. Support it. Not my schools. Not with all my gay teens. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a um skill in that Dungeons of Dreadmore game. Oh uh, yeah, Dungeons of Dreadmore. I, I like that. I played it just to get like coal or whatever, but I actually really liked it. I want to go back to that. Yeah, it's it's I think it's one of the only uh, graphic rogue types. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I wish I could put more time into it, but I just keep dying, you know. <laughs> it's just it, and you know, unless you um don't save your character, it's you just keep dying and you never go anywhere. You just stay on the first floor. I guess that could get boring, but you know, if you d unsave it, then. I have people that shit on me for not playing Boar Fortress, and it's like, dude, I don't want to play it. I mean, I'm sure it's great, but I can't invest that type of time right now into a game oh, like yeah. that. 
I can't even. I don't even understand how to play Dwarf Fortress. I've tried to uh, make up anything. Yeah, <laughs> like I just tried to approach it, and it was just like too complicated. What? What is this <laughs> word? ASCI. It's it's like the people that fucking go crazy when you say you use Windows instead of Linux or something. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sure when Linux is really good. I just don't feel like it's like doing a all bunch that of- shit. D&D nerds trying to yeah. teach a person who doesn't know how to play D&D. You play Dungeons & Dragons online? That's not real Dungeons & Dragons. You have yeah. to do all the calculations in your head on the real one. <laughs> yeah, we might this as well go back to... This is why I don't want to play it. Like, <laughs> You know, we, we might as well just go back to math-based computers and not even care about, like, real computers. Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> Shut your whore mouth right now. Are you being serious? I will not go back. I will <laughs> not go back. It's like uh, playing Star Trek on the math computer. That that apparently was a game, too. Like, you would plug in the coordinates uh, in Boolean logic, and then you would get a result. And it would take, like, an hour to make a move. I love my graphical user interfaces. I, I really like simplicity. And things like that. Yeah, but there there comes a time where it can be over too simplistic. Like, you've seen Windows 8, right? Well, that's a mistake. That's the vista of tomorrow. Today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, they don't realize it yet. Late. But... Oh, no, they realize it, but they're still going to push themselves off a cliff. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're landing that shit in the Hudson. And no one's going to be able to land it. <laughs> so, yeah. Ugh. This is great podcast material, by the way. Let's make this the first episode. <laughs> well, we're getting some dead air right now. Yeah, you're really. ready. <laughs> we'll, we'll just edit it out for content. Yeah. But what what would what would you name the podcast? Shit dick licking cunt niggers. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> okay. That's Maybe good. acronym that. S D L C N. I don't think it'll translate really well with our audience. S D L C N. That that I mean you could not explain the acronym and then just market it as S D L C N. Maybe. They'll just think it's a new sort of bondage. That's all they'll think of it as. No, or they could think of it as, like, a Generation X movement. You know, you could get away with that. Bondage gear. Yeah. Or like, grown-ups. Like, you know how there was uh, CKY, NOFX, and MXPX, all those other random-ass punk bands that acronym the fuck out of everything? Oh, even OAR. Those were all, like, acronym bands. And you could probably get away with it. So, yeah. Go back. Call front. I should play the Dead Air game. That's the fucking show podcast. They, every once in a while, they'll just, like, stop talking and then see who, who can last the longest on Dead Air because it's, like, super awkward and they know they're playing, they're, like, recording a podcast. <laughs> that's, that's funny. This one guy always cracks. You know, I don't fucking like this game. <laughs> Yeah, it's like playing the quiet game uh, when you're driving the car with kids. There's always that one kid that's like, nah! (laughs) Just randomly starts laughing, like, I don't know why I'm laughing. That's also a great game, to see who can laugh, uh, go the longest without laughing. Who can laugh the longest without dying. (laughs) 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 Who can live the longest without dying. Okay, go. It's like a... uh, Endurance contest. Man, Life is the greatest start. endurance contest. <laughs> I'm surprised I, I haven't died. In all honesty, I was I was <laughs> honestly saying 21 because of not because of my lifestyle, but because of the situations I always get myself into for no reason. Uh, my friends are always the ones, always wrong location at the best possible time. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's how it was with me and my friends. So I was just. 21, 
I was just really hoping to make it to 21. I'm heading on 23. <laughs> and anything, I'm going now, strong. anything now is just bonus. Yeah, it's, it's a gift from God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that at your funeral. Yeah. He's, he was every, hoping to make it to 21, and by God, he did Every day it. after 21 <laughs> was a gift from God. <laughs> like, Maybe you should uh, make a new goal. Maybe 35. I'll lose 30 pounds. How about that? <laughs> hey, that that's my goal. <laughs> make it to 35, vote for president, fuck the country over. Yeah, hey, there you go. Yeah, that's a new goal. I mean, everyone can lose weight, but very few people can become president. Uh, I mean, it's it's statistically more probable that you could win the lottery than become president. No, I don't play the lottery that much, so you could be lying. That is true. Well, and and CP is not a... Uh... Oh, we call him CP, by the way. We, we go by our old, old, old... Yeah, that nicknames. we don't even use. That we don't oh, use. Paper. Except for Raw. Raw uses yeah. Child porn. Well, kind uh, of. Actually, yeah, kind a little of. bit. It was child predators. It was a clan. Child, child predators. <laughs> yeah. We were a clan. Me and like five, <laughs> six friends of mine. You know, you could and, have redeemed yourself by saying CVP, child versus predator. No, no, no. It's child predators. We were yeah. under 18. We didn't have to worry about dirty licks. So <laughs> it was, we were underage. And they call me Bale because... <laughs> uh, the first time. <laughs> yeah, well, the way we met was I had half I didn't really have a good microphone so I used Half-Life Sound Selector which is like you could play sounds over source games and I would communicate with 300 buttons binded with different sounds and my most prominent ones though were Christian Bale freaking out at his <laughs> the lighting every guy time in the we'd screw up when we were playing with Fuck them, it just, amateurs. yeah what that the fuck awesome. are you doing? <laughs> so that's how we all met. Nice. And then and then I started playing Storm Dead Niggers, and then it just it was a great relationship from there. It's dead nigger. Then I got a good mic and I started talking and then we started going into Steam Chat and then started Steam Chat dating sucked, and, and one thing started, led to another. Yeah. And now we just send pictures of dicks all day to each other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I wish I was lying. I, really I think that's what I, I started. Lying. I started doing yeah, that well, to them. You, you, and then you started it with the bro And then fists. everyone else started. Yeah. The bro fist. People I'm, don't even know what bro fist is. <laughs> I make up a lot of stuff that isn't going to catch on and shouldn't catch on either because it's really stupid stuff. But bro yeah. fist is gay porn that isn't gay porn. It's subtle gay porn without showing any actual gay porn. So, in other words, you're posting pics of Dave Matthews fans. It's well, it's 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 like when a man loves a woman. Ah, like Ma- Michael Bolton. It's like a lot of hairy chests and a lot of sexual suggestion. Ah, uh, so like a it's lot softcore of... porn. I was sending softcore porn. Would it involve a lot of '80s hairdos? It's, it's just softcore porn. A lot okay. of every softcore porn. <laughs> that sounds about right. The image I had in my mind was uh, Fabio as a lifeguard, but you know, well, if, if he was naked and covering his his wee wee, <laughs> that, that's trying to get into fetishes. Yeah, that, that was bro fist, uh, and then it just turned into just who could find the nastiest stuff on the internet. Oh, so it turned into four chan. Yeah. So you got started I, found, I found something pretty awesome. Here, hold on. I don't like sending all this in separate shit. You've become one of us now. You're <laughs> joining the Steam chat. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm a part of a Steam chat. Nice. This guy so, didn't jerk off for 38 years. His balls, like, ballooned to the size of everything. <laughs> and, and no, just watch it. Just watch the whole thing. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of poetic. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> 38 years? How does How does one even go that long? <laughs> look at look at those things. But look at <sighs> wait for when he starts jerking off. Gosh. No, th- that is so fake. Oh, gosh. It could be fake. It, it could. 
However, like, how does one have a uh, junk that big? I don't even think that's humanly possible. I don't oh, know. Oh gosh! Just, um, wait for wait for him to start jerking off. Oh gosh! It's I can't believe like I'm frosting. watching this. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like batter. Oh gosh! And the reason I think this is real is you see his ball size just decrease <laughs> as he's doing this. But what if they're fake balls, Bale? Yeah, I mean, it could be, but... Gosh, that is horrendous. But that look how a... small his balls are after that. Like, I mean, they're still huge, but like... Oh, gosh, that is horrendous, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't gosh. believe... Wow. <laughs> it's horrendous. That is. Holy... How How does one deflate so quickly? <laughs> Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, that was, uh, that's why I think it's real. Like, oh man, it's just like we just had a case of the Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> how did wh- how how did he even? I'm without words right here. I I don't understand how he like because this is obviously a fetish thing. But if he hasn't really jerked off, like, how does he know it's a fetish? Like. I don't know. That's weird. It shows some great self control. Yeah. <laughs> Until the end when he let grow so, yeah. like and flooded the world. Now um <laughs> did he prob did he have a sex addiction b- addiction beforehand? Cuz you know, there's some people that are completely sterile. Maybe he's just you No, know, he was probably just like, "Hey, I haven't touched myself in a while." I can I can make some money off of this video. Like this will be the greatest. <laughs> he video probably ever. didn't make any vid- money off of it. That's a problem. Man, wow. I need to just win the lottery. I should just win the lottery right now. There you go. You won the lottery. <laughs> you it it depends on what the the jackpot is really. Money. A yeah. lot of money. money what would load. you do with all that money? The money shot to the face. Spend it on hookers and blow, of course. Hookers and blow. Now, me on the other hand, I, I kind of disagree with that. I'm not going to oh. give to charity or anything like that. I, I'm going to... shouldn't. Filthy. Yeah. Poor I mean, people. It's even been proven that uh, handouts aren't as effective as... um. People become more dependent on the handouts uh, when you give them out to people. So it makes the situation worse. But uh, I'm actually thinking about, you know, doing investing, a little bit of microfinancing, things like that. Just Invest it that. all into Second Life. Second Life. You'll yeah, <laughs> Second Life. It, it's Second booming, life. bro. Yeah. Oh, I, I definitely have to because, uh, you know, those Linden dollars are growing. Or even Shit, better. That's um, what they're called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the Linden dollars or something like that. Or um, chip credits or what were they, those things called? The uh, the currency. Oh, bitcoins. 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 Yeah, I should invest it all in bitcoins. Yeah, throw all your money into bitcoins. Yeah, it can I, only fail you some of the time. Exactly. Or just buy a bunch of um, e. Harmony gold or something like that. I don't even know if they have gold. This was our journey into Second Life, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, oh. YouTube pulled it, and I just like a couple weeks ago got my violation removed on my account for this video. Oh, you just made a bunch of. <laughs> oh wow, the uh, video thumbnail showed a bunch of uh, dicks on someone. Yep, yeah. <laughs> that's the video. <laughs> Don't make me smack a bitch. Oh, wow. Henshin <laughs> a go-go, baby. That, that is amazing. It's great. And <laughs> since then, we've, re- we've learned how to make the dicks like, come and pee everywhere. And we can do backflips while they're coming and peeing everywhere. <laughs> it's great. And you can you um, shoot people with them, or 
Yeah, pretty much. Well, you have to aim at their general direction. And wow, how do, do the mods even care? <laughs> well, they, it it depends. Like if you're in a if you're in an adult area, no, they, they don't. If, wow. If you're in a actually, there's one form of trolling I I used to do like. And I never recorded it because it's very difficult to record this shit because you have to, it's like you set it up throughout like two or three hours. I'm an idiot. I spend way too long trolling. But what I would do is I would go into like these weird BDSM communities and then what they want is someone to control them with like a collar in the game. And you can do whatever the fuck you want with this like remote collar. You can undress them. You can make them go here. You can make them go there. So what I'd do is I'd undress them then send them to like the child friendly areas. And they would get banned in seconds. It was just poetic. <laughs> and you lock them there so they can't move or anything. And they're just stuck there. <laughs> and you can also blind them so they don't even know where they are. So I'd put them in the child areas. And then they're pretty good at enforcing, like, dicks on people in child areas. Or, or not child areas, just not, like, for adult areas. <laughs> and people yeah, would get yeah. banned within minutes. <laughs> that was awesome. It, it was a lot of fun. So you're a master at trolling? No, I'm fucking shit at trolling. It's a, you know, the way I troll is I fucking download aim bots and troll. That's not real trolling. That's yeah. That's fucking. That's just <laughs> pissing people off trying to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever um gotten on Omegle then? Omegle? Oh, the 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 video thing. Yeah, it's it's like yeah, I, I've played it. I, I've done that a few times. I I put a gif of uh, some dude railing his cock with uh, like uh, it was like a you know those things that you would eat ice cream with when you're in elementary school. Those like wooden spoons. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was just shoving that shit down his cock, and that's what I had as a gif. And people <laughs> wow. would be like, "Oh, what the fuck?" But that's the only time I really used Omega. <laughs> Well, um, I used to, uh, every once in a while, I'd go on there and I'd just uh, play back a video footage of Mr. Hands, that video. <laughs> oh, is, that the, uh, is that the creepy guy? It's, it's the guy that um, got raped by a horse. Well, not really raped, because he kind of consented to it. He did the sex, it. yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember, yeah. Yeah, I just kept sh playing that back, and people were just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. So it was pretty terrible. Oh, I I didn't even think I forgot to uh mention my name, by the way. Um, David David. Yeah, you could just call me <laughs> David or Sully or DC. Probably DC Sully. One of the combinations. We're just going to call you DC now. I think that's Is that is that good? DC? DC? I call uh, you Sam. Sam? Okay. Okay, you're Sam now. <laughs> wow, that's that's, that's right. really that's far from it, but I'll I'll take Sam or uh, Paul. No, Sam, you're you're Sam now. <laughs> oh God! Wow, we we've been on here for an hour now. Yeah, this is <laughs> we're uh, usually you, on for many you hours. Don't, you don't want to know how much time we waste. <laughs> Actually, it's not wasted, but. It's it's Same well wasted. spent. It's allocated to this very yeah. moment. Wow. I'll have to come on here a little more often. Been looking for another group to hang out with. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're part of the group now. Yeah. <laughs> but will the mama bird accept him? <laughs> yeah, well Rami, I guess he is the mama bird, so Yeah, I mean the fact that there's gonna be four people now. That exponentially increases the amount of relationships in this group. Well, there might be five. There's another guy called Jay Stylish, but he doesn't even talk. <laughs> he comes in here and says, like, two words. Nah. We don't even know when he leaves, so. <laughs> there was one guy that used to come on to uh, the mumble I used to go on a lot. Um, literally, all he would do is just moan. He would just randomly just push this button and go, uh... And we'd talk to him and be like, why are you moaning? And he, he would just respond with more moaning. And it got so annoying. Wait, moaning? What? Moaning. He would just go, uh. Oh, moaning. Oh, uh, moaning. <laughs> How do you know he's mooning? Wait, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, he changed his avatar to uh, pics of himself uh, showing ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Actually, no, that was in Vent. That was back when we used to use Vent. Ew, Vent. Oh, gross. I never so used Dark Ages. Yeah, and then we we realized that uh, Spisex can be actually used to the benefit of greater mankind. So, yeah, that's what we use now. I for a lot of annoying things on Bumble. Just to warn you. A lot of I'm usually things. the ones I'll I'll do uh infinite troll time <laughs> or if I need to. Oh god, do you still have the audio of when you you, you, you like broke oh. Mumble? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you created a, he created like an everlasting loop that just got louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. It sounded like a oh, horror wow. noise, like it was just <laughs> 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 Oh, it was great. I was oh. playing uh it was a good day by Ice Cube <laughs> at like <laughs> super slow speeds and I was playing like three other songs at the same time in a channel of like 20 people and it like killed the mumble <laughs> <laughs> this kills the mumble the whole, the whole mumble was lagging after that as well it wasn't yeah. like just our channel we used to and, be in another mumble yeah we, we used just, to have a much better mumble channel than this so you could make we your were own defenders channel of names. The free channels Oh, it was great. You can make your own channel names and shit, and you could. There were just temporary channels, and we get like a bunch of Brazilian people that would come in and try and troll us like every single day. It was awesome. <laughs> then we got banned. We got banned from that mobile channel for a racist channel name. Damn. Which was very unfortunate. <laughs> but we used to have the mumble cannon, and we would all put in like, like fifty <laughs> alternate mumble accounts, and just have the have it all like binded to one button and what we do is the channel owner would transfer the entire channel to another person's public channel and so like all of a sudden some guy's channel will get like 150 new people joining their channel and then as soon as you talk once it just like oh it goes crazy nice that was good times <laughs> And anytime anyone would try and invade us and try and troll us, I would go into defensive mode, and then I'd get the audio working, and I would play lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> Dr. Phil, Sue Johansson. It's like, uh, it's like your Yu-Gi-Oh card. Switch I would, to defense mode. Oh, I, would, I would always place my trap card face down, and they would always fall for it. <laughs> I'm we never Can't... once had a good troll in Mumble, ever. Yeah, we, we always got trolls that would just crumble after, like, they would break 10 or 15 minutes. They yeah, would they'd, leave. yeah, they'd break character, they'd start laughing at our jokes instead of theirs, and <laughs> it was Yeah, good. that's the thing, though. It's hard to be a good troll. It you really have to be uh, really uh, determined. And on Mumble as well. See, the, the best trolling is the stuff that CP does, where he fucking plays along with, like, whatever the shit they're doing, and <laughs> starts asking them irrelevant questions. <laughs> what was that one where you went into that random channel and just kept asking like what game they were playing? I went into that's... all the channels and that's all yeah. I was like just I went into countries, different countries. <laughs> different countries channels <laughs> and, and ask what game they're playing and then is it like this game? No. Is it like this oh, game? No. Is one it guy like this no, game? it was a guy came into our channel once and I asked him it was just like being annoying and not saying anything and I just asked him, so you playing any games and i went through my whole steam list of games <laughs> and asked him if he was playing that or if he ever played that <laughs> and like i went through like 200 games it's like and uh... <laughs> go ahead he, he just didn't get it he just didn't get what i was even trying to get at like he, he was like no i i don't no no that's not multiplayer i was like Oh, I could have sworn it was multiplayer and <laughs> just made him like believe all those things and Trying reminds to get him of, to play um, single player games. And... <laughs> that reminds me of the scene in Borat where uh, he goes up to the, the the shop owner or whatever, and he's like, "What is this?" And he says, "It's cheese." And he just goes through this whole aisle of cheese, and he he keeps asking, "Is this milks?" And he's like, "No, it's cheese." Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it's like. Actually, <laughs> it's cheese. 
and his friends weren't helping him out at all. I think his friends realized what I was doing, but they weren't telling <laughs> him what I was doing at all. That is awesome. Oh, it was such a good channel. Yeah, I really miss that Mumble channel. Yeah, right now uh, I currently go to like a more private channel. Basically, uh, private channels are boring, man. You don't get like the excitement of random people joining just, your channel. It's the rush. Yeah, it's, yeah, you get some rush. Yeah, that's what it was. It's just, I mean, it was the same people, and they're fun to play with from time to time. But you know, it's the same personalities, and it, they're very predictable, I guess. Well, we're the most unpredictable people ever. So we're special. <laughs> so do you ride the short bus uh, on occasion? or I ride multiple short buses. Yeah. One short bus can't handle me. <laughs> you ride three short buses at the same time. <laughs> Connected. Yeah. Ass to mouth. Are Asked you the one that, the that connects them all? You're like leaning sideways. And... I am the bus keeper, yes. <laughs> I hold the power of the bus in my hands. The sacred bus keeper. Our group is great, though, because it is literally impossible for any drama to come between us. <laughs> well, because... if it does, we just, it's over. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. We have... I, I don't know, like, how could it possibly come between? We don't have any, like, strong opinions over anything. We send each other, like, scat porn Or if fun. we do, we understand. <laughs> we understand where we're coming from. Yeah. And it's it's not like a butt hurt scenario. We get butt hurt. It's like, give it two hours. I've, I've never gotten butt hurt over anything <laughs> in, in our mumble. But you have. Because you're a pussy. <laughs> hey, fuck you, bitch. I'm out of here. <laughs> you would. Would. <laughs> I think the only time I would get like kind of frustrated is when Rami plays with League of Legends with me. I just I can't do that anymore. It's, oh, he's so bad. Don't um, don't tell him I said that though. If he if he's bad at League of Legends, oh god. Just wait till he starts playing Dota. The, he's actually it's because like he doesn't want to invest like anything into League of Legends, but he actually kind of wants to learn Dota. Huh. So he doesn't even look at builds? No, oh, dude. It, you have no idea the struggle I have had trying to get him to... It, I'll link him a build, and immediately he'll be like, oh, there's too much reading. And it's like, no, don't don't even read anything. Just look at the items that you're supposed to build and look at the skills. That's all and you that's, need to know. And, it, and it's <laughs> coming from a guy that loves to read also. Yeah, like, he exactly. spends a ton of his time reading. All and then the all all game he'll just be asking me, so what should I build? It's like, dude, I I linked you the guy. No, I don't want to read a guide. You don't have to read it. Just fucking look at the skills you're supposed to level up. Look at the item. Oh, it drives me crazy. He that's the only that's the only thing that drives me crazy is him. I can't get trolled in games except for when he plays League of Legends with me. <laughs> he, I I'm convinced he's just trolling me the whole time. Yeah, he probably is. <gasps> see i can understand cp cp never he played league of legends very briefly and but he never like it was always a joke for him so i can I understand can't. you know i, I can understand it's like that. an mmo to me i cannot yeah. put any time into an mmo it's the it's, same exactly. feeling for me but like ramit's trying to like he's logged like over 100 and something games now and it's like you still get boots at 35 minutes in like what are you doing I just think also that you two are just a bad combo for each other. <laughs> we Since are, the way we've... we play games together is not a good way to play games, <laughs> if we're serious. No, it's, we can't play serious games. That's why I don't play Dungeon Defenders <laughs> well, with you guys. I can't, we'll see, I, can't not, I can't play it like that we'll anymore. See, like, we can be serious when it comes to a game that we've oh, all yeah, had a yeah. same, that we've all played the same amount in. Like, yeah, exactly. Like Left 4 Dead. We all had the same amount of time in that we had for Battlefield. We, we got pretty good at Left 4 Dead as well. Except like, we, for we, you, we Bad Company. <laughs> Ron and I were the ones that played that a lot. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, though, I was really busy Like when Bad Company started ramping up for us. Otherwise, I would probably be playing a lot as well. Like, do Warhammer last stand, because it's not super competitive, and we just oh, gotta yeah, we just survive. All fucking chill. That's and fine. we blame you. Well, if anything yeah, goes yeah, wrong. <laughs> blame me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Ramit has the easiest job out of all of us. He's always yeah, like just bitching at us about shit. Nice. Just to revive. 
I have the hardest part, killing yeah. everything. <laughs> now, um, have you guys ever uh, hung out on like any uh, of the more well-known forums, like Something Awful? or? Oh yeah, I have an account on Something Awful. I don't post... I, I think I've only have like five or six posts on Something Awful, but... I have uh, not. I, I'm I've not been... a forum or anything person. I just yeah, got a Reddit huh. account recently, and I don't use it. I just <laughs> like, I I stare at it. I just got it because I had to look at politics all the time. It's like an unhealthy addiction for me now. Very unhealthy. I think I started posting in the MMA forum on or the MMA uh, thread on something awful, and I've posted on a couple of gaming threads on something awful to like it's amazing how immature like not immature in the troll way i love the fucking trolling that something awful does but like there's been serious clans that have started up for like mmos that have just like crumbled within weeks because of like 40 year old man drama <laughs> it's unbelievable i i just I, I was really surprised i got an account on something awful to to join the uh global agenda clan when that was starting up and the clan like immediately within like a week split into like three other clans and like all the leaders are like these 30 40 year old men with like families at home and they're all like bitching at each other over the most mundane shit <laughs> like, wow. dude, dude evaluate your life man <laughs> it's, it's like this not. 40 40 year old man yeah, getting like buttered like over the forums man. for that's, some guy calling him bad at global agenda and, that, that's like, just like your opinion yeah, this is my opinion. <laughs> oh wow, have you ever uh, checked out the Let's Play forums? Oh yeah, <laughs> with the uh, fucking. Hey, I haven't actually really checked it out, but uh, is fucking slow beef and yeah, diabetes. slow beef is still yeah diabetes. He's still around. I love Retsu Prey. That's the greatest. Oh yeah. Retsu Prey is amazing. I I don't like how they're doing the long plays now, but I understand why they're doing it because it's just that I would kill myself after watching that many bad Let's Plays. Yeah. Although um, once you do start getting into the long plays, uh, they're not that bad. Oh no, they're funny. I I mean, uh, uh, fucking what's a slow beef and diabetes? They're hilarious, and I've seen a couple of the long plays, but they're just not as good as them. Like bitching out some guy who sets up his fucking camcorder to record something at a shitty angle with hyper yeah. cam and the mouse in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was the guy's name with the deeper voice? I really liked him, but he hasn't been in many Whitney of them Houston. since. When he died Houston, today. Yeah. <laughs> he's, oh, I forget. I it's forget like the guy. Ball? Maybe. Was he, he the guy in that one video where, like, <laughs> the worst Red Soupe ever video? <laughs> We're starting. Oh, shit, I didn't start it. Oh, this is over. And then, then it's like, oh, don't. I, I'm, I'm doing a bad job of explaining it. Never mind. But uh, he's probably that guy. He has a real deep voice. Hmm. He sounds it, sexy. It's probably not, though, because um, Psychedelic's a uh, French-Canadian, so uh, he has a very peculiar accent. Oh, is, is that the one on the... <laughs> I, I think I know who he is. I, I, I don't really like a lot of the ones that he's part of. I mean, he's funny, but his accent's is crazy. Yeah. Especially... Yeah. Uh, yeah, his accent takes forever to get used to. Yeah. I liked his uh, Black Throne LP though. Like, I just I I can't get into LPs. That's one thing. I I really love the Red Supreme because they're hilarious. But I just whenever I, it's like man, I could be playing this right now <laughs> instead of watching someone play it. Yeah, there there are some games like that. Although I do like uh, there are some videos that I just I love watching people's reactions. You know. That's yeah, funny. some of the amnesia ones are kind of funny. Yeah, uh, I like um some of the. As an advertisement, I'm not watching. Uh, advertisements. Oh, advertisements. Oh, you sent a link. Oh, Young Hollywood Network. Huh. But yeah, I, I tend to watch some of the more uh, famous something awful people. Uh, I like their videos way more than people that are just starting out on YouTube. 
Well, I mean, they're they're the only people to even bother watching. <laughs> it's the yeah. fucking the idiots on YouTube that have like nine hundred videos all with like a combined total of one thousand views. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, although there is kind of a, a splinter faction, I guess you could say, of YouTubers that are actually getting good at it. But I mean, that's a very elite few and very scattered group. I need to start watching Billy MC. <laughs> oh god, the the fucking like ten part series that the Red Supre guys did on Billy MC is great. Oh, Billy MC. Yeah, the fucking the Red Supre Billy oh. MC series is so good. Is he the one that um? Is he that guy that uh? Shit, I'm trying to think. He's the guy that um films through his camera doesn't he or? no 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 billy mc is the guy who always sounds like his parents are about to beat him and they're standing right behind him <laughs> and, and he he's like when when they did these videos he was like in college working a paper route and like like just everything that could go wrong with this kid has gone wrong it was so brilliant <laughs> it, the best one is the Billy MC Christmas special where he picks up the phone and he just words something poorly. He's like, my parents are out Christmas shopping and they, uh, they wanted to ask me what I wanted at McDonald's. So they're ripping on him for his parents shopping for Christmas gifts at McDonald's. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a really good one. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. He even does a let's play of McDonald's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sam, that's what I'm going to call you now. It okay. might have changed from what I said I was going to call you earlier. But, Sam. Yes? Where do you live? You live in a country somewhere. Uh, I live in a college town. In Grass the Hut College Town? Yes. It's an agrarian society, you see. And uh, everyone eats cows for a living. For and, a living? Yeah, like, it, it's their salary, you see. that We have a bunch of vegetarians around here. And, and in um, India? <laughs> India. In other I, words... It's probably the one place he isn't. <laughs> the, the mayor said that um, for every animal that you don't eat, we have to eat three. So he pays people to eat cows. I would. I could, I could stand that job. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Although it, it's kind of bad because we have to slaughter the cows ourselves. I could do that also. Yeah. I can kill a lot it, of it. It's things, kosher, I think. bro. It's kosher. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is perfectly kosher. But you know, some people uh, throw up into their cows before they eat them, and then it just gets messy and not as kosher. Because you know, you guys, ever seen the cow holes? Ever. Uh, Have you oh, ever seen the is, testing cows? Is that when they fucking drain the cows? No, no, it's no. It, they they cut a live hole into a living cow, oh, where they can watch its stomach. Yeah, digest. dude, I've They're, seen that shit. Oh man, those are crazy. Those are weird. Oh wow! To see what foods they can feed cows, uh, what things that their stomachs digest, what things produce the most milk. All sorts of things like that. That's crazy. They cut like a, a hole about probably like eight inches in diameter into uh, the side of a cow. Hmm. And you can see the inside of its stomach churning food. <laughs> wow. Strange. And they actually strange. stick their hands inside the stomachs. and <laughs> <laughs> It's like a factory. Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy. Hmm. Anyways, so did, you said where, you live in the south. Yeah. yeah. Um, so are you racist? Nah. Black? You don't sound black. Yeah. Oh, you're not black because we don't really get along with too many black people. <laughs> no, I'm not black. Oh, thank God. But <laughs> um, but yeah, my parents were from the north, so they kind of moved down south. Ah, so they fought for the north, moved down south. Yeah, although um, one of them was from the Midwest, so. Um, but yeah, like, we basically grew up in the suburbs, and 
there wasn't really that whole southern prejudice thing that a lot of people get. But where in the south do you live? Give us uh, your address. Okay, or phone number. Um, right now I live Naked in Athens. Picks. Um, my hometown was close to Atlanta. Oh, so you're where the zombie apocalypse happens in The Walking Dead right now. Yeah, exactly. So how are the zombies right now? Uh, they're okay for the most part. A lot of them uh, like to talk smack at you. And oh, no. Yeah. Some of them, uh, you know, you don't understand a word they're saying, but that's a given. There, There's also, um, believe it or not, there's not as many fat zombies. It's more like... Well, they um, get eaten. They get eaten by the skinny zombies yeah. to even out to get those regular mid-sized zombies. Yeah. They're exactly. good to go. Yeah. Um, instead, you get these kind of over, somewhat overweight zombies, but they're not like super fat. It's all they're, that fat food and people that they're eating. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say their average body mass index is about 26% body fat. So they're overweight, but not obese. Oh, what would... How do zombies necessarily... I think, you know, the majority of zombies in The Walking Dead, they don't really describe it, but... The zombies wouldn't necessarily lose weight to exercise or burning calories because their bodies are dead. They're not pumping blood or anything like that. So I think the majority of the weight lost is probably from insects and animals. Yeah, or Their anaerobic flesh. respiration. Just, just degrading a body material. But yeah. Well, I'm safe from the zombie apocalypse because I live on an island. No, no, no. The worst spot to be would be on an island because you're what? trapped then. Yeah, but no zombies are fucking getting over. The get on an island. It it's always not, does. It's not island. Good. It, yeah, but this is a different island. This is the best island. It's in Canada, right near the United <laughs> States. You're doomed. No, you're doomed. Wow. I live yeah. on an island. I'm I'm fine. The Vancouver? best spot for any <laughs> Vancouver any's... Island. I live on Vancouver Island. Best spot for <laughs> any zombie apocalypse would be on a mountain. Just be on a mountain somewhere. What about in space? Space would be bad because you're eventually going to run out and just have to come back to Earth. And when you do, there's going to be a welcoming party of zombies catch oh, you yeah. and eat you because you can't move around as much. You've been That's in space true. all that time. You're going to have to recoup all your muscle mass. Plus, uh, if you guys haven't played uh, Homeworld or Homeworld Cataclysm more specifically, uh, there's zombies in space. Also known as space zombies. Yeah, yeah exactly. Float around waiting to eat you. Have you guys played uh, the Homeworld series? I, I have not, and it's always been like a regret because I keep hearing how good it is. Uh, yeah, you're. It is really good, and you're missing out. I'm just laying that out there, making you feel bad. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just I can't get into something like that anymore. Like, not not as bad. Like, I just can't get into it now. <laughs> if it like came out in a new version, I totally could, but. Yeah, the most recent one's 2003, but even now the graphics are, are still aren't that bad. Like, Oh yeah, I'm looking at some pictures right now. It still looks okay. I just I have so much on my plate. I still have to beat Batman. I have to fucking... You're supposed to be on a diet. I, I have that on much a, on your plate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I, I have UFC Undisputed 3 and Twisted Metal coming in on Wednesday. It's like, oh god. Time to add it to your backloggery. Yeah. I have all these Steam games I haven't played. <laughs> yeah. You I should just take just... a year off from everything and just fucking play games I haven't played yet that I own. I need to I need to take a year off from life just to do that, to catch up. I think uh, it would be fair to say that once you retire, you can play all your games. Retire. I'll be dead before I retire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll die yes. before I retire. <laughs> it's, I have a, I'm good at getting a philosophy degree. What the fuck am I going to retire for? Who I don't need to retire. You might be the next keep Antichrist or... Yeah, hey, I'll work on that. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you feel that's your calling in life, just be the next Antichrist and initiate the apocalypse. 
with my philosophy. Yeah, <laughs> you never I mean, know. Uh, you know, there there's some ideas that have completely changed the world. Yeah, uh, that's true. I mean, I, there's like a lot of really abortion. shitty <laughs> super. Abor- oh, <laughs> what is super? The abortion? only thing that could kill baby Superman <laughs> before it's too late. <laughs> they use kryptonite with the coat hanger. Yeah, it's a kryptonite coat hanger. You got to really <laughs> twist it up there, though. <laughs> It's uh, some of the stuff I've been reading in philosophy of ethics classes are just great. Like they're so like far fetched philosophy papers that like there's one guy debating like the moral use of cars, and I guess Man, it's kind of makes the sense. Movie? That was not a good Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I I'm mean, really the moral. I, I'm, I'm against. I'm against that. So I mean, this guy makes a lot of sense. But but no, he was uh, he was talking about how like if you use cars to either if you use cars frivolously for frivolous uses, like going to the movie or something, or going to see a movie or buying a game or something like that, then you are morally something is morally wrong with what you're doing. But is this guy <laughs> Amish or something? I don't like this guy. Well, it, 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 the <laughs> defense was because when you're driving, you endanger yourself more than any rational being would normally endanger themselves. And but it's just like I, walking, stepping outside your door. You could get mugged at any point in the yeah, time, like I, opening I mean, your door. Like uh, that's true. That's a good counterpoint as well. But I, yeah. I, I sort of see where he's getting at. But you no, know, like these papers are like so far out there. It's great. But I mean, the thing is, we're not trying to learn like why this guy's correct or something. We're learn. We're learning like the opinions and how to defend or refute the opinions and whatnot. Yeah, but it's just crazy. Some of the shit that's been written. There's like the defense of the defense of anti-abortion, but it was done in like a way to say that like I oh, I can't even remember the page. It was it was a really shitty defense for like, or I guess a really shitty attack on abortion. <laughs> it just it it wasn't it wasn't convincing at all. Oh wow. Was, I, I forget. Now. Could you tell in the the paper that he was just about to give up or? Yeah, it was something like that. It was, it was just—it was such a shitty paper, but it, it was good though that we read it because it gave us a lot of ammunition to sort of do our papers on. And... Oh, do you have to write equally as shitty papers, or? Yeah, well, we probably end up writing equally shitty papers as that because we're like second. Year. Well, I guess I'm—I'm I'm a third year philosophy student. I'm but most a of the people are second year philosophy student. Yeah. Of the world, of the world so I don't. Man. I don't believe in schooling. <laughs> That's you know. You're like Socrates, man. He doesn't believe in schooling. He never wrote anything down. In all honesty, I really don't necessarily believe that schooling is the perfect thing for everyone. Yeah. But no, I, I, I agree as well. I I believe nowadays, especially when you can get all your information and learning for free on the internet, it's hard <laughs> to pass up. In all honesty, you can. Everyone's oh, there. Well, I took a year off from university, and in between that time, I didn't like just sit around doing fucking nothing. I, I did a lot of stuff, but I uh, one of the main things I was always learning. I learned more in my year off than I did like in university because I would like they have curriculum, and when you're yeah, online, there is no curriculum. I would the only listen curriculum. to TED talks, and then yeah. I would go on the iTunes university thing where like you can download lectures for courses. You know, that Harvard ever has taking. their own online yeah. courses for everyone. The future is not limiting people to have access to secondary schooling. The future is everyone gets secondary schooling for free. Like that is the future. Everyone yeah. at any point in time. That is <laughs> the future. Yeah. But universities we live in a themselves merit based societies. So. I, I know, but like universities themselves are an archaic form of learning nowadays. Like it's like the library. The library is a great thing, but it's it's done. It's used yeah. it served its purpose. The library now is Google. Because you type <laughs> in anything, it tells you everything. Type in you go to Wikipedia and you The facts they they have done studies on Wikipedia alone showing that wikipedia is one per it's about as accurate as any dictionary like webster's yeah. or miriam like 
Merriam Webster's Dictionary or Encyclopedia Britannica, it's within 1% errors of all that's ever been printed in these official encyclopedias. And this stuff has 10 times more of the information than any of those encyclopedias and dictionaries have ever had. Like, and this is coming from everyone because we don't just have one single editor. We have 10,000 editors in history, 10,000, you know, physicist majors tweaking different, different theories and theorems and all sorts of awesome things. You could learn math on Wikipedia. Yeah. You can learn any nice. type of math you want. Don't Actually, and, and then there's the, the fucking, oh god, what's it called? The, uh, oh, that guy, the guy that made the website with all the tutorials, which now, like, fucking professors use and just go, like, here, go here. Uh, oh god, this is gonna drive you crazy. Hmm. It's like some weird, so that I might. It has some weird foreign name, kind of. Maybe. Oh god, this is book is Kyle. Coleman, no. Susan G. Coleman, based on the cure. No, <laughs> no, this. Oh, uh, gonna have to Google this with some like very vague term. <laughs> it's always the worst when you're trying to find a concept and. It's on the tip you of your cock, off. and you just can't jerk it off. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a booger you just can't flick. Those are the worst. They are, really. Like, you'll be driving, picking your nose, and you'll try to flick it off, but it'll, it ends up on the carpet anyways. It always ends on the carpet. And it always manages Con to economy. maintain its freshness. Con too. economy. I found it. Con economy? Yeah, academy. This shit. You can learn fucking everything on this site. God. Uh, apparently, like some teachers in like high school now, what they do is this: they let this like teach some lessons for them. Like they fucking they put it on, and then they their students just do examples, and then that's it. Wow. Holy shit! I'm going to add this to my favorites. Oh, it's great. Like, I, I've looked at it for some basic math stuff because I'm very shitty at math. Um, yeah, it, it's really good. Yeah. This is good. I'm going to start looking at this for economics. Seeing as now I'm an economics major. <laughs> Microeconomics, bro. Thing. I mean, it, it's not that bad. It's just studying trends and then memorizing uh, what happens different trends and things hey trust me put everything buy stocks put it all in microsoft that's all i know <laughs> that's all jeez i didn't know this was 1984 <laughs> <laughs> when it would be profitable to put stocks in microsoft google invest in google i hear it's this <laughs> hip new thing that all the kids are raging about <laughs> actually yeah. you should have invested in well no facebook is a bad investment that's not good MySpace went bottom up. Social media goes bottom up. Like it just happens. It either it. it I mean, won't fa last Facebook forever. is eventually going to go bottom up as well. It's already starting to look a little bit dated. Yeah. And they're forcing new updates that are getting less and less well yeah. received, and that's never <laughs> and, a good and, sign. And less and less intuitive as well. Facebook actually looks like more archaic than it used to look. Yeah. The timeline thing is the worst thing. Oh, yeah. Like, I have in layouts. Man, the one great thing I, me and Ashley still argue about uh, MySpace was that it allowed you to have your own web page. All the yeah. HTML was editable. It was just... That was great. And then they destroyed that. Yeah, and then they just completely... They went the way of Facebook. No, users don't want the ability to make their own stuff. No, they don't like that. Yeah, I liked my own layouts. It's like uh, with Tube. I don't like the UI with YouTube layout. I, I don't really like that. Oh, yeah, they converted to the Imperial system. It's, it's going to... 
it's going to be forced very soon, they said. Like, the end of this month, they're going to make it mandatory. Wait, yes. make, make what mandatory? The new layout that they have. Oh, the timeline, yeah. Well, for YouTube. YouTube oh, is for, using... Oh, for, oh, I hate that, man. The new it, it, it's, scroll it's bar so videos. It's aw- so awful, like... The uh the fucking like my channel I'm using the old like, I love channel. the old layout I yeah, really me too. love that the the old layout is awesome but the new layout sucks because like I can't make eye rape on my channel anymore like I can't put pictures on my channel anymore it's <laughs> actually I just like the way it looks for all my like music whenever I listen to music on there I need to make my channel eye rape again just until they change it. I, I love my channel. This is the, the purple background. I can't shit. believe you still have as many people as you do. I can't believe people haven't like unsubscribed from me in fucking like a mass exodus. I keep trolling them by putting up like Euro Truck Simulator and shit, and they keep fucking clamoring for it. Wow. Now, um, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, like 5,000 something. I mean, it's not the most impressive list of subscribers, but oh, yeah. for for someone who doesn't even want subscribers, it's pretty big. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't wait, think okay. I can edit my you channel to, anymore. I have to pass one test, Sam. So you know. Yeah. How do okay. you feel about My Little Pony? Uh, It is what it is. That's a vague answer. That's a very <laughs> and I answer. like a vague answer like that usually. <laughs> yeah, but but we need to make sure it's. I'm okay it's, with it. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. We we were liking you, man. <laughs> <laughs> we were, oh, so you guys oh, we are like, ponies. Oh no. We're, okay. What's what's a more eye rape color? Like bright light blue or uh, yellow? I've think- already done yellow. Um, just think opposites. Uh, any opposite color. But yeah, I, I don't. I don't like. I don't watch it or anything. But I can appreciate a fan base for what it is. You know. That sounds like furry talk. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, that's, does. But it's real furry talk. <laughs> yeah. Gonna be honest. That's faggot talk. <laughs> real honest. <laughs> Here's my new channel layout. That's beautiful. Oh wow, and I love your picture. What about just bright white and yellow? <laughs> I should try white. I haven't tried white yet. Just do white and uh yellow text. <laughs> uh but yellow text. Uh, oh I should <laughs> I should do like yellow on slightly less yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I tried um watching My Little Pony once and I was just like no I can't go through this. Yeah, it's not it's not a good time. No. And people try to make it a great time, but no, no, just no. I should try all black. I'm going to my channel's going to be all black. I'm blacking out my channel. Black is very pleasant for a background, but it hurts so yellow. much when you go to any other background anywhere. Mm-hmm. Yellow and blue. <laughs> yellow and blue, yeah, that's a great combo. No, yellow and teal, even worse. That's what you did have. <laughs> my, my, my channel is, yeah, I did have yellow and teal at one point. My channel is completely black now. I have blacked oh. out this channel. Pink and brown? <laughs> yeah, actually, that, oh man, I'm just flip-flopping all these. Brown would be great, though. yeah it's such an unpleasant color (laughs) whoever invented brown should be shot tell that that to the black man bro tell that to the black man (laughs) or tell that to the man that poops yeah anyone who poops brown or is black should be shot just saying saying. I've pooped blue before I pooped orange once because I ate like Oranges, like like just so many oranges in one sitting. <laughs> there is unbelievable amount of oranges. You know the uh, blue raspberry flavored blow pops. Oh yeah, yeah. You if you have like two of those, it'll turn your poop blue. <laughs> nice. 
It's because it's just all dye and sugar. That's really all it is. Wow, there are so many people on this channel that have just joined and left. Yeah. They don't know about the cool people down here. Yeah. I just kind of was like, oh, hey, public lounge. This is our lounge. This is our lounge. It's my lounge. Hmm. There's like one, two, fuck ton of channels. People don't know about you guys? Some people do, yeah. but we so, change our names. People, yeah. <laughs> well, not in this channel. Not, well, I changed my name. So I can't change it. I got authenticated somehow. Damn. I hate being authenticated. It sucks balls. Because you can't change. Yeah, you can't change your name. It really sucks. Like, I don't know, That was our shtick in the old channel. We would have new names every fucking day. <laughs> and we'd all have a theme every day. And, <laughs> and UFC. I have UFC related names. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Pretty Shit, much. what was that? Yeah. Reverb. Uh, good old reverb. <laughs> I had installed uh, I my you. voice changer. Well, one of the things that uh, I like to do is I have this uh, pedal board that I use to play guitar, but you can also plug a mic into it. Oh, and man. I like to uh, take advantage of all the effects that it has. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> But it, it can, it, uh, just a warning, like, it'll, it'll, I'll just pop up with some random shit and you guys will be like, what just happened? I do that with Mumble, though. I do that with all digital stuff. If you ever <laughs> see another channel come in here that sounds remotely similar to what I'm doing in name, as the same type of name, it's just me getting ready to load up my all my uh, music and sound effects. I've, I've missed sue johansson with dr phil they have they have quite a good relationship going on in our little canon universe i just get uh it's just a, it's kind of tiring to do that all the time yeah no i can imagine dude. <laughs> It'd be yeah. very annoying having to buffer everything and look. yeah yeah what i do what i do <laughs> It does take a while to just like get all your effects just right and whatnot. And I have to change sound settings for the other mumble, and I have to set it up. I block people on that mumble and all sorts of crap. It's worth it when there's a troll that won't leave, but it's not worth it just to do for no reason. Yeah. Oh, and I also have a. I can plug my guitar in and. Just randomly start jamming out. So you have one of those USB guitars all the kids have been talking about. Oh no, no, no. It it's um it's it's one of those standard guitars, but the pedal board is USB. That's how I'm plugged in right now. So is that your, your side hobby? Side hobby. What do you mean? Like guitar? Uh, uh music Singer. in general, uh songwriting. And I need to, I, I want to get into, like, playing something. I played the djembe. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm that's a, so I'm much a, fun to play. I'm a it? professional djembe player. I took one course in university about djembe playing. <laughs> now I'm a professional. Nice. Yeah. But about, I, um, I've, I've always wanted to get into, like, guitar or drums or something. I just, I've never done it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it takes a lot of dedication. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, once you get there, like, you're there. Sounds like masturbation, bro. <laughs> Sounds just like masturbation. I know. It really does. I think I'm gonna go masturbate after this. I always do that after you're done <laughs> talking. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing it right now. Good fab session. <laughs> Are you finished? There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was an earthquake also while I was doing that. It just helped. 
Have you guys seen the uh, the Derek comedy video of uh, "Don't Jerk Off to This Picture"? Oh yeah, no, I see that. Uh... <laughs> Good times. Good times. Ugh, but yeah, I've, it, I can't help but notice there's just random people that join and they don't join this public lounge. They're probably just joining their channel to see if they're playing League of Legends or not. Oh, you can edit the channels, can't you? I don't. We can't. I don't think we can edit the ones oh. in this one. It's, it's grayed out. I wish we could. I'd yeah, I miss, I miss our old Rumble. You should start one up. No, no. It's a, see, it has to be one where people are always fucking in it. And trolls always go in it. That's, it has to be like a hundred people in it. And for some reason, League of Legends brings all the trolls. Yeah, like that one channel great. that we're in. Br- Brazilian great. people and Russian people. Any free-to-play <laughs> game yeah. really brings the right crowd. It really does. Fucking two hours? God. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of long nights here. Well, we usually play something, but Rom eats asleep right now. Oh. Oh, so. we could play hockey. Actually, uh, have you played hockey before? Uh, hockey? As the uh, Canadians say, hockey. Hockey. Ho- Actually, hockey. before I start pumping up hockey as being the greatest thing ever, we should see if I can still host. CP, you want to check it out? Yes, I will. I'm just going to try and throw up a server. But I used to be able to host, and all of a sudden I can't host anymore, so... I wonder if you just have to forward your port again. I, I did that as well. Like, I, I added it again. And... What game is this? It's called Hockey? Question mark. Seriously? By the makers of golf? Question mark. Yeah, it might be <laughs> the greatest game that's ever come out. And because I'm Canadian, I keep beating these guys. Except like, for the all last the time. time. Except, for the, except for the last time I played against both of them. They actually won. But it's... I think I've won, like, 20 games and they've won like two. And then I almost beat him single handedly. Yeah, but then yeah, the last yeah. period it was my downfall. <laughs> For two periods, I had to lead over you by like two or three points and then it just fell through. Oh, it must be because right I'm now. Canadian. Bacon. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm convinced that's the reason why I'm so successful at this game. Have you loaded it up? Yeah, the server's up. I'm downloading it now. I don't I think. Still don't see yeah, anything. you still don't see it. That's so annoying. Well, then again, hmm. try your your IP again. I'm just gonna try forwarding the port again. Up with that sweet ass IP. I really need hockey? to just get that computer working just to have a dedicated dedicated server hockey server. Well, dedicated anything server. Yeah. What's it called again? Uh, Fuck. here, I think I can link it. To okay. Actually, here, CPU link it to him while I set up my port. Let's see. <sighs> and that concludes our broadcast. Dead niggers.